Developers on YouTube are apparently really interested, perhaps even obsessed with Codecademy. And that's totally okay because I've been a member of this platform for years and have a lot to share. So today we're going to look at Codecademy again, but this time specifically focus on how it compares to competitor platforms like FreeCodeCamp, DataCamp, Udemy, and Coursera. What platform is ideal for code newbies? What platform gets you the most bang for your buck? And is it really all about the data on DataCamp? All this and more coming up. Hey, Archie C here. Listen, don't forget to get on our official mailing list. We have the free stuff, like free stuff. We have a free ebook for you. We have so many coding tips, real world insights, and so much more. Link popping up. It's also in the description box of this video. Apparently Code Academy has a really big marketing budget or something. I don't know. My last two Code Academy videos have like 140,000 views. It's obscene. But, you know, whatever the reason for all those views, I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to go with what those numbers tell me. You guys are interested in Code Academy. We're going to compare Code Academy to Free Code Camp, Data Camp, Udemy and Coursera. If you are totally new to Codecademy, I would recommend my two review videos. The original is popping up on your screen. There is also the two year follow up that is popping on your screen probably right about now. Let's check it out. First contender, free code camp. As the name suggests, it's free. You learn how to code. It's kind of like a coding bootcamp. Before you pop into the coding challenges and learning these concepts, you actually pick a path. So we have everything from coding interview prep to machine learning with Python to data analysis. And then up here, we have the web development stuff, front end dev, libraries, certification, JavaScript, algos, and data structures, as well as some responsive web design stuff up top. Probably one of the most popular ones on this platform, JavaScript, algos, and data structures. One thing I love about Free Code Camp is that you can pop in here. You don't even need to have an account set up to start doing the challenges. You can just get right into it, practice it, see how you like it before making a big commitment of signing up, getting out your wallet because huh, it's free code camp. So the, the accessibility element really stands out to me on free code camp. Whereas code Academy, some of it is free, but the pro where you get the extra bells and whistles, let me go to the pricing and I'll show you. So you have a few options here, basic that's free pro light and then pro. The pro gives you the career paths and the landed job elements, as well as skill paths and projects. With your basic tier, your free tier, you get the basic access to free courses, community support and learning resources, and the rest is pretty much a no. However, comparing that to Free Code Camp, that's pretty much what you get at Free Code Camp. There is a community, you do get access to all their curriculum. Compared to something like Code Academy, Free Code Camp can sometimes feel a little bare bones. Where I think Free Code Camp really excels, especially compared to Code Academy, is their YouTube channel. Although the official Free Code Camp YouTube channel does not post their specific coding challenges, the solutions to those coding challenges, you can also search on YouTube. This channel itself actually started off with me doing Free Code Camp solutions to some of these algorithm problems in like 2017. There are also some hints down here. This is what Free Code Camp's editor looks like. There are a few more options here. You can fork it. There's also a focus timer and some additional tools where you can customize your editor with the high contrast mode and some other things with white space, code font size. Compared to the free Code Camp editor, the editor on Code Academy has a little more features, but you can still do the basic stuff, everything you really need to do. The other thing with Code Academy versus free Code Camp is that with Code Academy, you can actually choose by language. For example, Python, JavaScript, SQL, Java, PHP, and so on. They also have some different career paths that Free Code Camp doesn't have, such as iOS developer and cybersecurity. Code Academy versus Data Camp. As the name suggests, once again, you will be learning languages, technologies, and tools that help you work with data. What do I mean? We're talking Python, we're talking SQL, we're talking Julia. I really like this platform. I don't talk about it a lot on this channel because this is not a data science channel. They do have some really good general SQL and Python courses. Yes, there is a data slant, obviously, on this platform, 
but the instruction, the layout, the content, I think it's all a cut above most other platforms. Let's pop in and I'll show you what the layout looks like. This is also an interactive editor based platform. There are a few videos here and there. You're gonna be reading, you're gonna be doing some quizzes, and you're also gonna be doing mostly interactive stuff. Here's a typical code editor on Datacamp. I like this code editor just fine. It does the job just like free code camp. I still think the Code Academy coding editor has a few more features than Datacamp, but again, this one on Datacamp does the job. Code Academy does offer some data science courses. So there are some career pro paths here. There are also some individual courses and some skill paths, but compared to Datacamp, I just think Datacamp does it a little bit better, whether it comes to curriculum, the projects. For example, if I go to my homepage here on Datacamp and I scroll down to some of these projects, visualizing the cough cough, Dr. Semmelweis and the discovery of hand washing, it's not showing here, but there's a really funny and fun one like I think it's called something like how many people are drunk at any given time in Ames, Iowa, like oddly specific and so funny. If you're doing a month to month subscription on Datacamp, it's $39 a month. Comparing that to Codecademy, they put it in the fine print. It's $34.99 per month with the annual $17.49 per month. And then what does it end up? $25 per month on Datacamp. So Datacamp is a little bit more expensive, but again, in my opinion, this is the go-to platform to learn data science. I don't think this is too much to ask if you're gonna start a six-figure career in this lucrative career field. Next up, the one and only Udemy versus Codecademy. This one's gonna be pretty quick because the differences are so obvious. So Codecademy, they really rely on their interactive code editors. You're gonna be reading a lot. There are a few videos. Whereas Udemy, bring your own editor, bring your own notepad. This is all video based. This is a dumping ground for better or worse for just about every topic you can imagine. As they brag on the landing page, 204,000 online video courses. They do offer web development. They do offer software engineering. They do offer QA. A data analysis, you think of it, name the topic, it's on here. Jose Portilla, this guy's pretty well known for his Python courses and his data science courses. Also Cold Steel, I've dropped that guy's name way too much on this dang channel. Angela Yu is really well known on this platform. Biggest thing with Udemy you gotta watch out for is this sneaky pricing. I did a video a couple months back called What the Hell is Going On with Udemy's Prices? If you want to know more than you want to know about Udemy's prices, check that video out. Udemy's pricing system went from clownishly entertaining to just a total dumpster fire. So I can't tell you how much the courses cost. It's anyone's guess. It's based on this concept called differentiated pricing. Again, check out the video. It's more than you want to know. Whereas with Codecademy, they put it right out in front of your face. It's $34.99 billed monthly, or if you do the annual, it averages out to $17.49 per month. Coursera versus Codecademy. Now, the one thing you won't find on Codecademy are two pretty horses, one with like some Stevie Nicks hair going on on the right there. Coursera also has really weird pricing. I don't think it's differentiated pricing, but the model is so difficult to decipher. I can't tell you, I really just cannot tell you how much any of these courses cost. Some are free on Taco Tuesday. The same ones cost $100 on Saturday. You can take courses ranging from dairy production and management offered by the Pennsylvania State University to Google Project Management. This is like if you work at a corporate job and they have some training money and they're like, hey, Candy, we're gonna pay for your Google Data Analytics certificate. Why don't you log on to Coursera? I'm not saying it's a horrible thing at all because there are some good courses on here, but it is a little more corporate. There are not a lot of cat jokes, whereas you might get some cat jokes on Codecademy. You will certainly get cat jokes on Udemy. Coursera is more white collar. It's more, hey, I got this scholarship from Google. Here are some courses I enrolled in way back in 2015. We'll check this one out. Let's see if it's still up. Course certificate for responsive website basics, code with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. We're gonna go to the course and you guys can just kind of see what this layout looks like. They still have the course. I wonder if it's even been updated. This is one thing about Coursera. 
some of their courses, the ones that I've taken a look at anyway and explored, woefully out of date, so be careful. Videos, there are readings, and there are also graded assignments. And this is where that pricing comes in. Like it's free for some courses if you don't want your stuff to get graded. And then it's like pay to grade. A 10 minute reading on jQuery in 2022 tells me everything I pretty much need to know about this course. Whereas with Codecademy, I do find that their updates are a little more frequent. The biggest difference I think between Codecademy and Coursera is that Codecademy is dedicated to these tech skills, whether it's Python, JavaScript, PHP, or career fields like data science, computer science, web design, this platform does tech. They do it relatively well. This is not a horrible platform by any means. If you watch my review videos on Codecademy, it's a solid platform. But Coursera, if you wanna take a course on animal welfare and like chicken rights, seriously, check out a Coursera course. Of all of these platforms, if you are a total code newbie, I would recommend first and foremost free code camp because it's free. There's no financial investment at all. There's not even the temptation. Whereas with Code Academy, yes, it's free, but it's always, they're always dangling that carrot in front of you. Like, hey, if you upgrade, you can get some of these projects. You can get some skill paths going and some certificates. Data camp's great. If you know you want to do data science, Udemy for video-based learning, Coursera, chicken welfare. That's pretty much the summary of these platforms in my estimation. Developers, thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Have a horse-tastic day and I'll see you in the next video.